Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our live stream for today. Uh, I give you one minute or two to get yourself some snacks, something to drink, to get yourself ready. Uh, and uh, yeah, then it's time to start. <laughs> the music is already ramping up like crazy, so you know what that means, right? Let's find out if uh, the Typhon can work today. So, here we go. Hello. I hope you're having a good day so far. I hope I can participate in making that day even better. Let's see if... Ah, okay, sound is coming on the tablet. Um, so, let's, uh, let's make that a wonderful day. I hope you had some, uh, have some snacks, some, something to drink with you, something to enjoy the evening or day, whatever it is for you, with me, at least for the next hour or so. Um, we also have a new moderator, it's Beheaded. So uh, thank you, my friend, for taking on this uh, mammoth task, task of moderating our stream chat. Although, I have to say, we have a really good amount of people here who are awesome. You know, I, we don't, we rarely have people really trying to disrupt or disturb anything. You know, some people, uh, and our, our community is really awesome when it comes to that. And um, so I hope that uh, Beheaded doesn't have too much work, but um, yeah. So welcome to the stream and thank you for taking over that part. Also, this is the topic for today, the Typhon uh, with Vortex, okay? I have double nuclear amps in because we're not really doing a lot of damage. And if we want to ramp it up higher, we have to probably use two of those. Let's see if anti-control is a must-have. We're going to try it without. We're also trying the Kestrel drone for added damage boosts with the uh, death mark. As long as the Kestrel still works, I want to use it. We all know what Pixonic is planning for it. Um, also, Legendary Pilot, pretty good. Um, hold on, do we have the lock-on time? Yeah, we do have it. Okay, because this is important. Without the lock-on uh, shortening, things are crazy. War Robots, two euros uh, already from Let's Go! Grüße aus Österreich, A A33. Two, two. Thanks, you, my friend. Thanks, and uh, Grüße back, uh, zurück nach Österreich. Um, so, Jetzt, uh, jetzt gehen wir mal, jetzt, let, okay, speak in German now. So let's try this. The, the goal for today, we have a goal, and the goal is going to be, can we get a godlike with this setup? I don't really know. Maybe we have to change our active module. Right now I'm running with phase shift to stay alive longer. Maybe we're going to have to go into a shield break. Could be. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it will be difficult to get uh, even a godlike. Wow, this guy's like going left and right because you see uh, a lot of things have shields and most of enemy most of my enemies I can't really deal damage unless I, I, I hit them perfectly with uh, the ability charge so it's gonna be uh, difficult okay bam 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 whoa all my four shots were not even able to drop uh, to drop the skyros balls resistance I try to hit him here. His ability is gonna go for three, two, one, and fire. Boom. Oh man, I got slowed. Uh, okay, maybe we can EMP him here. Tsang, and fire. And boom. Ah, it's not enough damage, man. <laughs> it's not enough damage. Imagine you have to reload 10 seconds for this, you know? So, maybe we just need to find uh, easier targets. Uh, and Orokochi is not really the thing that we want to take on. Tsang. Okay, and fire. And boom! That was better. That was definitely better. But, uh... I, I, did I just lose all my... Oh! Yes, I got him! Or someone did. Did I get him with the, a charge? Yeah, I did. Boom! Oh, oh man! All right, so I think we have to change something. I think we probably have to go and equip a face shift. No, a, a shield break to it, because right now it looks like we won't really be able to uh, get the uh, get the important kills. Heavy robots are hard to take down as it is, but like an Orokochi or something, we can't really kill it. Okay, Scorpion on me. He's got stealth. And he jumps back. Oh, he's back in safety too. Okay, let's see if we can shoot somebody here. 
He's probably gonna... Okay, I'm gonna just go away here, because <laughs> it's so, too much going on. And the two damp- uh, the three dampers I have on this Ohokochi- no, uh, uh, Offion, sorry, on this Offion are still extremely powerful. But we all know they're- oh, he's far away! I thought it's a Seraph that's really close. The Aether looks sometimes so much like a Seraph that if a, an Aether in 6, 700 meters range looks like a Seraph in 300 meters range. <laughs> Seriously. Um, okay, there's a Ravana. We just dropped him pretty well. I think this might be the Scorpy. He's gonna jump on me any second now. My entire salvo didn't make it. My entire salvo could not hit him. Let's finish him off. Then him. Got it. Nice. Offion's still a bomber. Ah, come on. Oh, boy. I want to get into another flight, which I think I should be able to do. And then we can probably, hopefully, drop the Newton. Or maybe not. Because he was able to get back in cover. Ah! He's gonna hover me up. Ah! Gosh darn frickin' uh, uh, choke. I hate this nonsense. Alright, we're 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 winning the match though. Even though this guy with his uh, off uh, Ohokochi is controlling the, uh, any, any map engagement that he has. He's in his ability of course, but now we can drop him. Because now we have the necessary firepower to do it with the titans all right he's regenerating his ability but it shouldn't work anymore yep there we go all right another one bites the dust am i hovering yeah i am <laughs> i was like wait i shouldn't shouldn't i be landing anytime soon but his titan is already dropped he spawned a fresh titan and he got instantly demolished i don't even know what killed him so quick it was not me um, but yeah, so one thing I want to do for today, I want to keep a good mood throughout the stream. So if the things are happening that are really are nasty, which I'm pretty sure will be happening. I mean, we're talking about War Robots. There are some things that are just very bad. Matchmaking sometimes and so on, right? I don't need to tell you this. You already know it. Um, but I'm going to try and keep my cool. All right. So... I got killed very quickly here. Faster than I expected. Alright, let's hop into uh, my Ravana. Oh! I got instantly killed by Mega Man's uh, instant kill uh, area effect cheat. Now all beacons are turning, uh, are turning at the same time. So the guy who has been dominating the match with his meta robot before, he has activated his cheats now. So he instantly killed me with my Ravana, 100% health, then he turned all beacons simultaneously with a cheat, and again, you see he activated his ability and instantly kills me. That's how he was dominating the match all this time, by uh, simply cheating. So we have someone from an HC clan, um, who is... Very evidently a max meta build player, so he's a heavy spender, uh, and yet he feels the need to cheat in a public match with randoms. Yeah, you were losing the match. So what? You're losing the match. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that you were losing the match. You have five other teammates with you. They were not as powerful as you are, so it can happen that you lose. Apparently, he disagrees. All right, so let's see. Um, that would be. Him here, who uh, probably did about 6 million or 5 million damage in 2 minutes at the end by simply triggering uh, his cheats. Uh, HC, Heart, Corpse, um, and the player is Mega Man with this ID on the PC platform where cheating is easier. Pixonic, you know what you have to do. Uh, I will check later uh, in a few days uh, if the player is still having an active account or if he's banned because uh, there should be a zero tolerance zero to tolerance to this kind of cheating because this is what ruins games to the point where there's no point logging in if there's more and more cheating going on this can bring it uh, bring the game to uh, extinction instantly so 
Uh, elite, elite player with 7,300 this ID. By the way, also HC Chaos a Hard Corpse Clan, right? In case you're seeing this, what do you think this throws a light onto your clan? If I were you, kick instantly. No argument, no talk about it, gone forever. He will never play in your clan again. And you, that, that's what I would do in your case, because I would not want a clan where players like this are ruining my reputation. But um, I leave it in your hands, it's, it's up to you. But uh, Pixonic also has uh, a job to do, obviously. Let's see where this leads. But let's hop into, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Before we hop into the next match, I wanna change the active module. I know I will get myself killed faster, but I might be able to get kills better too. And again, we have an hour, maybe one hour and a half to get a godlike. That's the goal for today. It seems ridiculous. It seems like something that I would normally like do, do like this with any setup, right? But with this old Vortex setup, in a world where there's a million shields and stealths and resistances, and these weapons taking 10 seconds to do basically no damage, really, this is what it is. You do no damage for a 10 second reload. They're literally that bad. Um, to get a godlike with it, let's see if it's possible. Let's see. This is the fake HC clan, lol. Devil Warabot says it's the fake it's a fake HC clan. Okay? It's good that I read this in the chat. If this is a fake clan, then obviously the real HC clan can't uh interact against this. Um that all right, that that changes the topic for uh for the clan members. The clan can't uh interact like this. Uh, boom, a little bit of damage. Um, so in that case, I take it back when it comes to the HC clan and apologize to you guys. Um, if that's not you, then you can't handle it, right? Obviously. Uh, oh, teleport, change, and boom! Oh, come on, my freaking... Why can't tell scorpions teleport back when I, uh, when I prevent, when I add the thing? I don't understand this. Um, but yeah, so in that case, Pixonic's the only one who can, uh, help out with that situation, right? So the HC clan also has an interest in getting that. Okay. I hit him hard. Hit him really hard, but he wants that last stand of mine, and that's why he died. He wanted the last stand so badly that he stayed until the very end. Here's a Mars robot. He only threw his turret out. I could shield break him. Uh, but I would have to get really close for that. And now the Curie turrets are shooting me down. I would like to get that, um, that Mars. Let's see. Nope, the Curie turrets are back. I have to wait for the Curie turrets to disappear. But a godlike. Can you imagine how impossible it is to get a godlike here? One of my weapons fell away. Boom. Ah, oh, it wasn't a kill because I was already missing a weapon. But you see, I mean, just getting a kill is already like, uh... I, I can congratulate myself for simply getting a kill with these weapons. They're literally that bad. On the Typhon robot, it is literally this difficult and impossible. Uh, okay, basically got myself killed already. In one moment, in one unload of these two sub-doers. Uh, Yeah, I, I don't even want to fight this thing, seriously. There's no point to it. Any damage I do now, he's just going to get it back when he activates his abilities. So, let's see if maybe we can attack something else. In that case, I was able to do a good amount of damage. But he gets the HP back with the next turret spawn. He doesn't keep all of that HP that he got back, but he keeps some of it. No, actually, he lost all of it back. So now he's gone. All right. Cool. That was a crisis robot he just fired. We can drop him, very nice. Something is in our base. An Ohokochi. Wow, I just dropped him hard, man. <laughs> that was a quick kill. So let's see if maybe we can play a little careful here. Uh, the problem is, of course, this uh, Newton Titan. And I'm immediately suppressed. Everybody is shooting him. I fire at him and I'm instantly suppressed. 
So he's got 100 meters range. Uh, 150, I mean. I'm trying to stay with my teammate here. Come on, help me out, man. Yeah, got it. All right. Uh, even though my teammate did ba really, barely anything to help me out in that. Um, okay, let's shift one more time through the thing and hit array at this guy. Yep, gotcha. And back to 400,000 health with my uh, Ravana. Kestrel drone says, uh, th thanks, it does, makes it possible. Whoa. Dude, these three dampers are so insane, man. I mean, the um, the Ravana itself is already very powerful, but these things here, I mean... Boom, living let. Look how easy it is with the Ravana. 16, 15, 16. Dude, the match is still not lost. There's a chance we might do it still. I know he can do that. Obviously, I can do this. And then I can do it again when he fires again. And I can do it again when he's in the air up there. He's landing now. And popping him. Nice. Oh god, again with this. What is it with the Lynx always using these weapons? Almost got him killed. My team is maybe finishing off the job. Yeah, good job team. 1916. We're in the lead. Nobody's taking on uh, he Heizenberg. <laughs> it's not Heisenberg, it's Heizenberg. Nobody's taking him on. Nobody wants to play against that boring Newton. It, I understand why. Not even me. Not even a rabbit I wants to fight it. It's too stupid. Uh, but we can fight this. Alright. Come on, reload. Ah, he's in his shield. Oh gosh, he goes into stealth. Let's go, let's go. Uh, Ares just dropped his ability. Of course, these weapons here are over... By the way, 600,000 health meanwhile. These weapons are heavily overperforming. We get suppressed immediately every time you fire at him. You know what? Now I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fight him now. Until the end. There's a Titan on me. Scratch that. Plan has changed. Immediately as I decide to give it a fight. A one-on-one -on -one versus a freaking Newton Titan. Immediately, I get literally in that same split second attacked by a Titan. This is unbelievable. A full Titan comes in and immediately tells me that, no, you will not be doing that. I, I, I will have something against that. All right, then. Change of plans. <laughs> that was such a weird time, time, time thing. I decide to give this a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, the guy immediately appears and says nope. All right, all right, all right. Let's get that that guy. He can't heal. And also my Castrel drone keeps shooting him. So even though I'm not dealing damage to him right now, my Castrel drone adds death mark. So when we get to finally shoot him... Okay. Look at the duration on that choke, man. Look at that duration. And I get suppressed again. I, I got suppressed from the first shot. I face shifted, deleted the suppression. I shoot him, I get suppressed again. I didn't want to do uh, abilities in this case. I just I just wanted to die. At this point, seriously, I'm just gonna freaking die. I, um, I can't fight him. Every time I want to shoot, I get suppressed. So, there we go. Bye! Uh, <laughs> this Titan just cleans, cleans up with, um, with, um, what's it called? Newtons. Uh, my uh, last island of survival is a mobile game and I want to see your opinion on it. PS, join me in battle. Tell me when you play it. Eyes on me. Hey, eyes on me. Good to see you back, my friend. Um, <laughs> for those who may not, may not remember, he's the guy who, uh, gifted like 200 memberships that last stream or a second last a while ago. Um, so, Heizenberg jumped from whatever it was he was running at first. He ju jumped into his Newton, played the, basically the entire match in this Newton. 
because why would you play anything different, right? And then he jumps into an Orokochi that will now get killed. All right. <laughs> I thought he just spawns another new. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Another hacker? No. All right, let's unload. I just had my suppression. That shot from him just broke a 300,000 HP shield plus the entire HP on this, uh, on the frontal shield plus half of my Titan. In one salvo, this freshly spawned Newton broke a 300,000 energy Paladin shield, broke my frontal physical shield, and then dealt 400,000 damage to my Titan. Add that up, you end up with an 8 700,000 damage alpha strike. The alpha salvo damage from this weapon, 7 800,000 damage. With resistance, by the way. Um, because of the added damage versus Titans. All right. He's got stealth. All righty. Okay, so first, so far, we didn't have a chance at scoring. Oh, beheaded, just give the 10 memberships. <laughs> hey, thanks, man, beheaded. I thought you have your hands full in the stream chat. Uh, and I see who gets it. Uh, Felix123, Nimble Squirrel, Lololo Vorobats Editor, Ricardo Barba, uh, Barbarossa, Master of Titans, iGoogle, Mashi, Baba, A33 Solo, Damon, and Maurice Cole, and G CGV. You guys all got a gifted membership. Oh, congrats on that. 9 million damage? It, some of that damage, a lot of that damage was the Ravana, and some of that damage was the Titan. No damage of that was uh, with our setup here. So today's live stream will show a surprisingly small amount of the actual topic because I run this, I try my best, I will probably die, and we hop into the ne next one. I wonder if we can still make it happen though. Yo, money, enjoy some of the mo uh, money I've uh, saved not playing Warabot Scam. You deserve it more than Pixonic. Uh, uh, Pixonic wrote, written in uh, PIG. Uh, uh, Xenoid, thank you so much, my friend. Five euros from you. I really appreciate this. Um, and you... Oh, 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 there's damage coming from the right corner. Then there's damage coming on the left corner. A turret on the right and, uh, and homing bullets on the left. Wow, he was teleporting back very quickly. You think maybe I can hit him there? Boom! Yep, that was a, a decent hit. It seems like I filled my own bomb effect meter by doing that. Okay, hit him again. I can't suppress him, but I can shield break him. Let's stay with uh, Mender. Mender is doing a good job here. What is this? Oh, it's an angler. Okay. Shield break and suck and boom! Ah, one hit kill! Bye bye, Mars! That's why we all play Vortex. That's what's interesting about Vortex, right, guys? That is what makes it fun. I almost killed myself here. Or not almost killed myself, but I did damage to myself by. I think he's face hugging the wall. I don't think I'll be able to uh, deal any damage with Vortex to him. Not as long as he's beginning to walk somewhere. Okay, maybe now. Oh, almost killed him. Almost killed him, but we need a godlike. Dude, it seems literally... It, ah. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. oh, he's just face-hugging the wall the entire time. He will not stop face-hugging the wall. There's <laughs> no way. All right, let's hit that invader with a suppression charge block some damage from my uh, for my titan uh, uh, tank friend here uh oh it's uh, i don't have face shift let's get away from here wow i am zero speed but i'm getting healed from the mender that mender boy is awesome i love this guy Oh no, my shield! Oh no, my shield break wasn't ready. How long is the shield break cooldown? I'm activating it just to see the cooldown. Holy smokes! How long was that cooldown? Twenty-three seconds. That's insane. All right, we got a kill. 
23 seconds cooldown on the shield break with a 40% faster recharge on active modules. Yeah, double kill. All right. Now, if we were to get him... Uh, okay, somebody else is getting him. Fire and boom! Oh, another one-hit kill, dudes! The scorpion spawns into the game, gets an instant blackout to the face. <laughs> and then he gets completely one-tapped, dude. Okay, okay. And boom! Against the nether and fire! And boom! Yes! Woo! Wait, Rampage! One more, right? Only one more kill? Oh, please. Please let it happen. Fire, 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 fire. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's not enough for the kill. Not yet, anyways. I think only one more hit. Somebody's dropping his last stand. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Woo! Godlike with <laughs> with the thermites. I did not expect that to be possible. Can we make it a living legend? Beyond godlike! This is insane. Airstrike on me for a shield. Let's see. When the hawk lands! Oh no, he's got last stand though. He's got last stand. I can't one-tap him when he lands. I need to keep one of my weapons in. One, two, three. Four, five, and boom, boom! No, what? I fired it too early, apparently. Okay, fire, 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 fire. Yes! Living legend! Alrighty. Oh, I'm gonna die now, am I? Uh, let's hit that Ao Ming, though. Unfort oh, God, slow to zero. <laughs> Living legend! Woo! Alright, uh, where's the freaking sunglasses? There we go. I absolutely deserved it. You know what? What? Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, come on. I. All right. It's a little complicated with the headphones <laughs> and the the cap. Uh, but uh, yo, ladies and gentlemen, living legend with the freaking vortex thermite. I didn't see that coming, honestly. So, let's see what we can do against him here. He can barely do a dent into my robot at that distance while I can basically scrap him entirely. Just look at that. I mean, <laughs> just look at that poor Lucha. He's pretty much killed now. He's, he's reflecting now, I can tell. Because he's no longer getting damage. I'm jumping on him. He's jumping away. Adding a shield on top of myself. And here we go. I'm ignoring... Uh, the uh, Revenant in front of me. I'm dropping him first. I don't know why he just got like a 30% insta refill. That was a little weird and unexpected. And he's got the repair amps. You can see he's not taking any damage anymore. And he's now reflecting again. But after that, he's gonna jump, so... No, he's not. Woo! Yo, I'm happy, man. I achieved what I came here to achieve. I got the freaking... Godlike, and not just that, we actually made it a living legend. The, the the plan was to get a godlike, because I felt like it was going to be impossible to get a living legend. I felt like it was so unrealistic that I might as well not not make this a goal. Living legend, go get him, money beheaded. Woo! Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, stream chat is also happy. Let's see what we got here. That's the good mood money that we know. Yeah, man. And that's what I want to do more with you guys, honestly. I mean, there are a lot of things in the game that suck, you know? There are a lot of things that can upset you in the game and make you unhappy. But there's also a lot of fun in the game. The game does a lot of things really right. Unfortunately, also a lot of things not so much. But I, I, I have this tendency to focus more on what's wrong than, you know, what's right. And maybe this is something that uh, I should work on. While it is very important to criticize things that deserve criticizing, I think it's also important to remember that, you know, having a fun moment and enjoying the time with you in the videos and in the streams is more important than, uh, than anything else, right? Shield on me, popping my shields, using the 300,000 Paladin shield for that. After he lands, he's gonna... Never mind. He doesn't even land at all. What's that? It's a... F uh, it's an angler. Very powerful robot. The reason why Manny is the GOAT. 
<laughs> yeah, man, I'm the goat. I run, I run with my freaking horns up against the wall like a moron over and over and over. Okay, cool. Nice, I'm happy. Living legend, I can finally die in peace. <laughs> No. All right, so we got we got done what we wanted to do. So we'll see you around in the next live stream. Bye bye. <laughs> no, no. I didn't. Maybe we can do it again. But you know, what do you think? Would I have done this without the fa uh, shield break? Was the shield break uh, necessary for that? It started connecting the kills with uh, the Smars in the first place, right? And so on. So it does help. It did help. But was it necessary? I don't know. Manny, I just became a member. Let's go Vortex time. Yeah, A332, thank you so much, man. First a donation and now becoming a member. You're the man, dude. Awesome. And we have uh, Faisal Baluch. Uh, my son really likes your videos. Hey, Faisal, that is awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And um, I, greetings to your son, Faisal. I don't know what uh, what his name is. I would say his name and greeting him perfect uh, personally, but uh, you didn't attach his name, but... Thank you and your son for watching the videos and stream. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to keep that sunglasses on now because I think I earned it at least for one or two matches. Then we're going to take it off and may have to re-earn re it myself, okay? There's uh, only so much... Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we have Canyon. You know what? I'm spawning in my Erebus now. I'm spawning in the Prisma Erebus. I've made a video recently about this thing. I showed you that it's a surprisingly powerful sniper, actually. Way more damaging and powerful than I expected it this this old setup to be. Um, of course, it's not the meta, but things don't have to be meta for me to be interesting, you know? Uh, oh, oh, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a crisis robot over there who is already going to do that with me. Yep. I have a face shift. I can use it against him, but I can also just walk backwards behind this little pillar. You see this pillar right under my crosshair? That thing will block all the shots coming from that crisis if I just move back a little. I can't kill the crisis just yet. There is one I can attach, uh, attack, but uh, he managed. He, he saw the hits and he went into cover immediately. I am trying to play more careful. By the way, it is more difficult for me to see what's going on on the map. See? I'm actually killing the crisis right now. Okay, face shifting. It was a little too dangerous. Is there three crisis robots now? Okay. No, the other thing is a uh, Hydra setup. Uh, not Hydra. Hurricane. Hurricane setup. So see that that pillar in front of me protects me. He's shooting me, but he can't hit me because the pillar is there. Um. And I have my face shift ready very often, too. And now we can kill him. And... Oh, almost! Face shift! Woo! That was, that was the second one. And rockets around the corner. And... Pew! Nice! I got him. The rockets connected with him. I'm down to almost death. But I'm not quite dead yet. It's a sniper duel here. Not a very fair one, because I can't really defend myself against uh, the because his defense system like his stealth works against my uh, my shield and no his weapons and ability bypasses my shield that's the big problem and I can't bypass his stealth if I could bypass his stealth things would change but I can't do it see if we can get him from here not really I would need health uh, from the Demeter. Maybe I can make myself known to the Demeter that I need his his health, his backup, because I'm not healing any health, apparently. Walking out, faking it, faking walking out. He's not falling for it, okay. Demeter, please. Demeter boy, I need you. Okay. No, Demeter! No, he's jumping away. Okay, firing that charge at this. Um, this is an Orokochi that I'm killing here, by the way. Oh, I got myself healing. Nice. I healed myself with the nuclear amplifier by uh, filling up the full stacks. 
Once you reach the maximum stack amount on your nuclear amps... I don't dare to do it. Yeah, he's looking at me. But you know what? With the phase shift, I can walk out. Uh, pop! Yeah, Almost pop. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Ooh, that was... Oh, no. Now I have my phase shift used and an airstrike is here. Yep. No chance. Um, I don't think we need to try the Vortex here. Because on that map, there isn't really any chance for it to perform well. Okay, I can't hit him. Oh, he's losing big health from my homing bullets. But you can also see that his um, robot recharges his shield so quick that I, uh, even with a fully charged uh, uh, setup, I'm not really able to... Oh, gosh. We need to get the beacons now. He always has two shields for some reason. Do you see this? He always has two shields. I'm blocking as much damage as I can. Bringing new shields. I'm hover I'm not falling. Dude, all I wanted to do is fall down to the ground. The game would not allow me to fall down. And I don't think I was uh, made hover by any setup here. Okay, I have to go away here. This is impossible. I'm getting the Indra. Once he touches the ground, I might be able to attack him. But there's no point firing before that. Because he's simply going to ignore uh, the damage output. And pop, there goes the entire dude. I'm jumping to the middle so that we can hold this beacon. I see it as my responsibility to do it. So, once that guy drops... We can connect the shots to him. At least for a little while. But, I don't think we're going to win this fight, man. The enemy has... Look, I mean, we're down to, like, nothing anymore. I have to jump away here. Wow, that was my jump! <laughs> that was my jump! What was that? That was supposed to jump me into safety. It jumped me 10 meters into death. Okay, I guess we're dead then. <laughs> All right. I don't know what that was. That was supposed to be a long leap and not this little bit. Okay. I mean, we're dead now anyways, but at least we can fire a couple of shots. Put a turret up. I'm immediately locked. Bro, I spawn the robot. I go one step, pop, lockdown. <laughs> one step, lockdown. One step. Unbelievable. It's the battleships. The battleships just completely break the game. You press one button, Broski goes into an instant lockdown and has no more chance. Oh god. A button press from space. Insta-lock. Not building enough. No. Instant. Wait a minute. It's slow in effect. He's jumped the speed of the Rook. Apparently, yeah. I was confused too because normally the slowing does not affect the distance on the Rook, right? Mo normally you can be slowed you turn very slowly in the air while you're locked or no not, not locked while you're um slowed but when you press the jump button you pew right you, you shoot away but in this moment i i made a like a tiny slow jump only it was weird this time the slow seemed to have affected my jump distance which normally it doesn't do that that was weird 
Very weird. All right, so this is a great map for Vortex. Okay, it is Team Deathmatch too. Maybe I should not get up here on the building and expose myself. I have to be careful of scorpions because that's the thing that happens in Team Deathmatch. The scorpions are going to come in and whoop you. Uh, Hapchi Dirky is also wondering, are you going to attack or are we just going to stand here? I'm sorry, man. I can't brawl. I cannot brawl. I'm not a brawler. And there is already the first scorpion, see? He's just waiting for his chance to jump on somebody. And he's doing it now. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I hit the scorpion. And boom. Nice. I didn't get the kill. He, he's, he says that I have to die. And as that, of course, I will die. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh gosh, I'm still alive somehow. That surprised me. But uh, the Ohokochi is going to change that soon, don't worry. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, and boom! Oh, I killed the Shen Lu! I gave him a nice back massage with four Vortex, dude! He didn't see that coming. Got him locked, and... No, I didn't get him locked, actually. He kept walking. I thought I'm in some kind of snowstorm ability because of this effect, but it, it was only the angler going into his ability. Oh, uh, no, I just activated my shield break for no reason. Um, okay. You think maybe I can hit him there? Fire? Boom! Oh yeah, that was a good hit and his turrets were offline in that moment. I don't know how I'm still alive, by the way. Should have died long ago. Five, four, three, two, one, and lockdown. Uh, the turrets were still up. I'm locked, I'm locked, I'm locked, I'm locked, I'm dead. See, I asked you in the beginning, do you think we need two double nuclear amps or a, uh, an anti-control? And clearly, Anti-control, not having it, got me killed. The fact that I don't, didn't have an anti-control just killed me instantly. Okay, there's already uh, Titan weapons in the game. Okay, we got the Curie. That was already an important kill. Let's see how much we can influence here with the Orpheon. It is Team Deathmatch and it is my job to do my the best I can for my team. And I will do my job. Always. Okay. I got a battleship ready in case I'm getting targeted by Titans. What? That was a Curie? Huh. That was a little... A little wimpy Curie was that. That, was, that must have been a baby Curie. Yeah, he was probably still a baby. What is that? Oh, God. Oh, no, not these. Oh, my God, the duration on that stealth! I did not see that duration on that stealth coming. That felt like it was three seconds longer than normal. Already at... Um, already at... What is it called here? Uh, uh, at Beyond Godlike. Two Murometses. Is that even plural? What is the plural of Muromets? One Muromets, too many, uh, many Murometses? Uh oh, 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 wow, wow, I got EMP'd. I got EMP'd by the Muro, and that's why I could not get into a uh, phase shift. The phase shift is my protection against Crisis robots, but the Muromets and the uh, Crisis just did a perfect dream team play. And. <laughs> That was sick, man. That was sick. There's not really any point to shooting a landing... Um, a, a landing Eiffel Titan. That makes no sense. You have to shoot him when he touches the ground. But there's no point shooting him while he is still in the air. Because all the 600,000 damage you're going to do... Eh? I'm EMP'd? How? Why? Moo, huh? Huh? 
Okay. Let's shoot him in the meantime. And land in safety if we can. You know, remember, one of the most important things to do with the Orpheon is a good landing. That basically changes everything. I don't know if I can still get in safety because it's a very long way to go. And they have homing bullets. He was just waiting. He was fully recharged and waiting for my landing. Okay. Fresh shields on me, popping them for a heal. It was a very lossful uh, thing, but... From here I can do something. Slow to pretty much zero. We have a Newton in our team. Okay, so that should be it for the uh, Kraken Indra. Very powerful Indra. Uh, he was very hard to take down. 17-19, so it really depends on how we play. How we play our titans. I couldn't jump up because I got EMP'd again. Alright, I'm gonna kill their, um, their Eiffel Titan now. And this thing, and this thing. <laughs> okay, I guess we have this one in the back. Everybody was like a one-hit kill. He has the regular skin on the Orpheon. People always ask me, hey, Manny, how can you, how can you shoot, th shoot through his shield when he's landing? It's because when they have the regular skinned version, the black one, um, they uh, the shield is not non-existent. Oh, dang it, I made a mistake. The shield is non-existent when, uh, when they land, even though it shows the shield and it's not really there. Um, but it's if they have the quicksand skin version, uh, the shield will stay. Look how much pressure you can put on the enemy uh, with this kind of setup here. I have to recharge my weapons, but the Arthur just lost one of his shields. Turning around, showing him all my shields. Then we're gonna pop the shields, get fresh ones in. And uh, try to drop him, but of course he can move around the corner. He gets into a phase shift and into the next ability already. That's what makes this Orpheon such a powerful robot. Is that he can always get back into the next flight. All he needs to do is his double phase shift thing. With two phase shifts, it is impossible to kill him. Before he gets into the next flight. But if he has a... Uh, after that we can get him. Alright, let's recharge weapons and wait it out. Or not. Seraphs are really bad, bad nowadays, man. Can you imagine that he managed to get 600 meters far away from here? Did, th does that seem like 600 meters to you? I was surprised. I thought it, if I would look at it, I would say hmm, 450 until here. But at this point, he was already at 600 meters outside my weapons range. That had me very surprised. Mani, what do you think of the Luchador with Veyron and Evora? Um, the Sonic shotguns for... Uh, Sonic weapons for Titans. Yeah, it's a powerful setup. It's a beast because um, you cannot kill a Luchador when he has uh, repair amps. He becomes impossible to kill. And when he can jump on you and unleash so much damage, then it's crazy. Rook is OP. Well, you say that now, uh, and you are of course correct, um, but there's a big nerf coming for the Rook. The third nerf, by the way, the third one, I think. I think we had already two nerfs. There's a third one coming soon, a very powerful nerf. And uh, to prepare the ground f work for the upcoming new um, Bedweir Titan. And that Bedweir Titan, if you haven't yet seen yesterday's video, is going to break our game. We have a calculation of that this thing can easily absorb about 50 million damage when you drop this thing maxed. It is a realistic assumption that this thing will have around 50 million effective hit points, basically. I got him locked. 
Oh, I get myself probably killed here now. Oh no, thankfully the uh, crisis ignored me. That is a welcome sight. Let's get him locked again if we can. All right, and fire. Boom, lots of damage. However, unfortunately, I got locked somehow. I don't even know how. Boom. Uh, okay. He comes out. One, two, three, four. And boom, 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 boom. I will win this fight over the long term. Because I can do more damage to him than he can do to me. And he realizes that and comes out playing now. And... Uh-oh. Okay, that changes things. Now we need a brawling, brawling damage output. He was just suppressed, uh, locked, but he was not suppressed. Yeah! Woo! Big damage. I moved away from the nasty uh, Orion battleship AoE. And I'm gonna try and hide here. He should not be able to teleport back for a while. Okay. Yeah, he couldn't teleport back because I EMP'd him. And now you see he has a bit of a disadvantage down there. Boom. Ah, no, 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 no! I, I forgot about the Reaper Crisis for one second. And he was just waiting patiently in his base all along for that one moment this enemy forgets about him. And then pop instant death. I have a last stand too, doesn't matter. Because the Reaper Crisis simply goes through that. Why? Because it conveniently fires multiple charges too. It is such a no skill setup. You can just, you cannot do anything wrong with it. You just open fire and that's all you gotta do. Because this thing conveniently fires in a high fire uh, salvo. And therefore, conveniently uh, stops at last stand and then re-engages at last stand. Okay. The lags are pretty out of control here. Whoa, somebody kills him fast. Who did that? Holy smokes, he went down quick. Okay. Boop. Next complete robot kill. And there's nothing I can do except face shift. I didn't want to do it. I, I could have face shifted. I could have saved myself from that. But I don't want to do it. I just want to shoot back, deal a little bit of damage. But the moment he fires is the moment you die. That's the Crisis Reaper. He needs zero skill for it. He just walks out, presses two buttons, and you're dead. That's basically the end. And you see, in both instances, he went 100% through my last stand and my defense systems. So, we're going to change that now. Of course, I draw the attention of the entire map as I'm crossing them planes. He knows exactly what I'm about, what I'm doing. The cry he will not leave me alone. He will not give me... Ability activated immediately. This scorpion made it his life's goal to stop my plan from reaching uh, the, the thing. He is shield breaking me now! Yo, you have made yourself a target for the end of the match, man. Please respawn. I got only one target now. There he is. He's shield, bra he's shield breaking me, and I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, the uh, disable uh, from the battleship came from him. Unfortunately, there's three titans on my flank. That makes things rather dis difficult. But as long as no Newton is among them, I'm okay. Alright, I'm gonna just shoot the Arthur then. Alright, 
Okay, let's engage here for a second. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to follow me. We have understand that this is a one-on-one -on -one now. Unfortunately, he's playing a one-on-one -on -one versus me and he's hiding between three friendly titans. Right one-on-one. -on -one. Um, here, you see? He is coming. He understood that this is a, his, our assignments is killing each other now. But it's not much of a one-on-one -on -one if we're hiding, if you're hiding behind three friendly titans. Um, but yeah, he's just not playing for a combat then. Let's not fight then if if you make it so so important to not get killed, not get fight. Let's fight him then. Like, if you make it personal, then you have to seek the combat and not avoid it at all costs. And only try to occasionally sneak a couple of shots in. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm stalling time through his abilities. I'm getting constantly hit from homing bullets from behind. He gets into another stealth, but then it's death time. Okay. What is that down here? Ah, it's a Demeter. Gotcha! Woo! Uh... Indra gets lifted. We have, we must have a Newton somewhere. I'm canceling his um, his ability. He had me with his what's it called? He had me with his lasso, and I canceled it. Looks like we're losing the battle. Maybe I can change it by running quickly up here and getting the beacon. Immediately suppressed, of course. Okay. I was able to turn this beacon around. We need to kill the Newton, though. The Newton is going to be a problem here. Because he can constantly... Can I respawn here? Oh, no. It's, it's, it's the other map. Okay, we've almost got the Newton. Newton is gone. So far, he can't capture the beacon just yet. Oh, he did- wait, he did capture the beacon because of my transcendence modes. Um, but I'm wasting this guy's time forever. At least for a while. And then eventually I die, of course. But we held the beacon long enough, maybe, to win the match. Or to content it long enough. Yep, now it's a 5 on a 0 beacon cap and now it's a win. Nice. Alright. Manny, how do you make uh, the Ravana more durable? Because mine is always squishy. Nimble Squirrel. Uh, it's the right now the Kestrel drone and the Paladin battleship. The combination out of those, every time when used uh, and you get kills with the Kestrel drone, you get yourself every 10 seconds, you can trigger that a healing plus an extra amount of gray hp or added maximum hp uh that you get uh but the thing is um the the cast you don't need to go for this anymore and uh, try to go for it it's this drone here that this does this but it will be changed the next update update unless pixonic really listens to our feedback from literally every player and youtuber in this world um that, uh, that this is a terrible idea, unless they listen to it, they will change this drone to be working differently. Instead of on kill fix, where you get HP, you will get it uh, on stealth. So it will be maybe a good drone for certain robots with stealth, like Loki and Lynx, uh, but it will be no longer working, for example, with this Ravana, right? So, uh, terrible idea, because people bought this drone. Well played, Manny, thanks! Yeah, it was a, it, this was a really last second turnaround. If I hadn't gotten that beacon up there, we would have lost. But let's not, uh, I, I, I gotta say, this was my team winning this. It wasn't me, uh, because it was a team effort. I may have had one action that caused, uh, that uh, led to the victory too, but so did every other beacon cap from my teammates. So 
it was a combined effort from my team to make to turn this around in the last second. That was a good match. And you saw it's usually best not to get give into one-on-ones and getting things personal. I would have want I would have wanted to get this fight, but uh, when he was hiding between three friendly titans, how am I supposed to attack him then? You know, um, I can't. So I, I eventually gave up on it, and it probably was a good idea because this would have probably led nowhere. So they're engaging our beacon here. I wonder if maybe I can, in the meantime. Do something here. Okay, I got him. He is not having his ability and boom! Yes! One hit kill leech! Bye bye, dude! I EMP'd him. So for five seconds he was not able to trigger his ability. I walked a little closer because I didn't want my rockets to get stuck on the roof rafters up there or the railing. Okay, fire. And boom! It was a good hit, but not good enough. And he's shield breaking me now. That is problematic. I'm sending a shot after him. And it dropped him to last stand. Nice. Unfortunately, I lost my last stand too. Because, of course, I had this laser booty body on me here. And now... Yeah. A whole bunch of things are coming. I'm stuck. You know what? At this point, I'm willing to walk to the end of the earth. To not get killed here. Slowing him down. At this point, I'm walking till the end of the earth. Look how impossible they make it for me to simply stay in the game with this setup. It's a topic for this stream, so I would like to stay alive. Um, Alright, it's a Ravana and I got him. Boom! Big hit. And the Ravana could not go into his ability. To defend against it because I blocked it nice all right um, a fourth weapon that I missed would have helped here nice lag and he still managed to get the reflector up I didn't but in the lag how can you uh, understand anything that's going on while it's lagging like this right it's not really possible he's going away Okay, I got him locked and suppressed. Boom, 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 boom. But the Lynx has the initial force field protecting him against incoming damage. And you see, we're getting absolutely demolished by the enemy team. Uh, There's not really much we can do at this point. I got him hit again. Big damage with the Vortex, but not big enough to kill him. <laughs> Alright, I wonder, should we even spawn in anymore? Let's make it one last effort in trying to capture the center beacon, perhaps. And I'm not the only one having that idea with the Rook, it seems. Alright. He's doing that. He's capturing this. But in the meantime, we're losing the base, so... Let's make him fly. Because if the Aether gets hit, he's going to start triggering his flight. Somehow he didn't do it, though. Yeah. Alright, this match is over, ladies and gents. Oh, and the Vortex was nowhere near close of achieving any uh, godlikes. Kestrel rework will buff stealth robots. Well, yeah. I, it will... It will give you bonuses to stealth robots, but it will... Stop giving you bonuses to every robot. So, is it a buff? You could use the Kestrel drone previously very well on your Lynx robot too. I did that. The The Kestrel drone was a wonderful addition to the Lynx robot before. And um, it will be for the Lynx robot after the change. But for the other 90% of the robots that are not utilizing stealth, it's no longer an, a useful setup. And that is what Pixonic wants. This drone was overused because it was very universal and good. People enjoyed running it. And um, apparently that can't be. You can't enjoy something this much. If, it, if you do, then it is too good and it needs to be changed. So let's see if we can uh, EMP him. All right, hit him and boom. Oh, ho, ho. down to last then. Puche Glass. Puche Glass, his name is. 
I can read Russian now. Um, so shield break, suppression, and fire, and boom! No, he was falling sideways, and that's why my shot didn't trigger a perfect hit. Look how quickly just the Curie turrets are taking me down, man. All right, I got him. Oh, his turrets are already there. I thought I hit him before the turrets kicked in, but he managed to get the turrets out before. Oh, face shift. And boop. again, EMP, but the turrets are back already. You see, his cooldown is actually faster than uh, my turret and uh, my, my suppression charge. I have a 10 second ch uh, cooldown on the suppression and he has less than that with his turrets. This is a hit. Oh, bye-bye, Curie. He didn't manage to get his turrets out in that case. I hit him, EMP'd him before he put the turret out. And that is the end of the, of the Curie. Fire and boom, another one. Woo! Hey, man, I'm smelling a godlike coming around the corner here. You smell it too, guys? Uh, boom! Triple kill, yes! All right, so far so good. Okay, here we go, and boom, 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 oh! Somebody sniped it with Fulguo. Okay. No, it's not my kill either. Uh-oh, and I'm getting targeted by a Titan. Yeah, getting away. All right, fire. Ah, oh, forget it. I didn't fire. Good that I didn't fire, because he was... Alright, uh, shield break him. Okay, that is enough for the last stand. I, sl I shield broke him, EMP'd him. Uh-oh. Death behind me and death in front of me. That's a problem. Boom! No, what? How was that not a kill? He was like, he was like at 5% health. How could that not kill him? I think we lost the kill streak. Unfortunately, there goes our potential kill streak. Sack and sack and boom! One hit kill, a flying uh, Orpheon. Why? Because he didn't have last stand. Oh, I love when people are not using last stand when I'm running this setup. Gotcha and boom! Ravana down to last stand. He couldn't react this fast. I, I hit him so hard immediately. Oh, I almost got the Ravana now, but unfortunately he had still one HP. All right, is that a Dagon? Let's see. Uh, what? It's stealth now. Uh-oh. Oh, he's shield breaking me now. Unfortunately. Now I'm getting disabled or something like this. Why are you stealthed all the time, man? Oh, got it. Got it. Snuck a shot around the corner. Whoops, that shot was a mistake. Okay, what is that? I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no damage. Somebody got him, though. Uh-oh. I don't want to fight these two titans, but I guess I have no other choice. He's EMP'd. He's gonna... I was gonna say he's gonna land without Reflector. But then the Newton lifted him up. Why do Newtons never understand that you shouldn't hit things with Reflector when they are in the air? Or uh, uh, an Eiffel Titan that is, hasn't yet landed. That it, I'm sorry to say it, but it goes to show that Newton players need zero skill. They just get themselves a Newton and then they flatten the enemy team with it. And they need, they need zero skill for it. They're, you see this a lot. A falling Eiffel, you don't lift him because he still has his bonus HP. You lift him only after he touches the ground. Uh, a flying Orpheon, you don't lift it until he touched the ground and lost the shield. Uh, a Luchador in the jump reflector, he will keep that reflector active until he touches the ground. Admittedly, not the strongest reflector, but you should maximize and min-max your play. And Newtons just don't do it. Not saying that no Newton players have skill, obviously, but there is a tendency that Newtons, they're playing it more casual. Because, you know, this robot is, uh, is, this Titan allows them to play very casually and still 
dominate extremely. To the point where they can meet the strongest, most knowledgeable players on the opposing side and just disable them and kill them completely. Without without the, the skill of the enemy to count against it. it, it the, the titan, the, that titan is literally something that basically disables skill. Fire and boom! Last stand kill. Alright. But I think he's going to have the next ability. Re oh, maybe not. Hold on. Fire. All right, he's gone. Good. It's. A, I mean, it's a victory when he dies, right? Even if I didn't get the kill. Uh, I, I don't know if I got him or not. Fire. Boom. Oh, I, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. I have a good team with me, it seems. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, that damage counts uh, as a kill because it um, it basically battles his... Uh, his. Okay, through his last stand and... Boom! Big hit, but he just placed the turret. And you know what I just saw? I saw that he placed the turret as my shots were falling towards him. What does that tell us? It tells us he was not emp he was locked, but he was not EMP'd. How? How was I able to lock him down? Which means he has no anti-control, because with anti-control he would not have been locked down. He wasn't locked, but he did not get the EMP effect. And that frustrates me, because the Typhon robot needs the EMP to function. Without the EMP, the Typhon robot doesn't work. Boom, but no damage. Okay, I'm gonna try and book some distance here. I got locked in one hit and he face shifts uh, and he, uh, yeah. He face shifts through every shot I do. He is playing this, he is playing that max meta uh, fury on the highest meta level against one of the oldest and only fun orientated setups. There is no way on earth I can fight that Kyuri with this super weak outdated um, Vortex build. It is just for fun. And he has activated everything the maximum meta gives him by his hand to stay there in his, uh, in, his uh, in this Kyuri. Very sad to see people play on this high-end max meta level of meta against weak fun builds he knows i have no chance to even do anything against it and by the way this is the third newton lift and every single setup is the clone to the other look at that god awful garbage game <laughs> this is where war robots is really one of the worst freaking games in the world I have just been lifted nine times or eight times in a row. I'm sorry to say it, but here, Warobots is literally the worst game the world has ever seen. In that instance. Not saying it is always like that, but this single-handedly destroys the game to the point of uselessness. It makes me want to uninstall that piece of garbage and be done with that awful experience. Because there's no reason for me to play a game and not enjoy what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm starting a game to enjoy playing it. And we have the same bull crap here on our side. They have the bull crap on their side. And it's just a matter of who, uh, who has more of them. It's really all that is. The one who has more of these, ins these, these stupid things is gonna win the match. Oh well. I'm shooting him, I'm instantly uh, suppressed. Okay, got one of them killed. I'm adding a shield on top of me. Killing the full Kyrie there, very nice. Airstrike on me, of course. What else is new? Uh, 
we have the center beacon. I'm getting lifted, but at this point, I'm relatively free. I'm beginning my attack, but it's going to be uh, worthless. I'm immediately suppressed, of course. I'm not running the special skin version, so I do actually get... Um, Yep, I needed two more seconds before I could have jumped into uh, the next ability. That would have killed the third Newton then. Uh, one more ability run and I would have killed the, the last Newton. So we had $5 super chat before from Lofi Hoppix. Um, why do you... Uh, hold on, I will read it in a second. Okay, let's wait as long as I can before I put the turrets out. Now that he's losing his ability, we should be able to hopefully kill him. Nope. But he can't target me now. He got lifted. He can't be. I, he can't target me. Oh, and he got killed. All right. So. Uh oh. Oh man, there's enemies all over the place, all around me. But they're trying to win the game. I'm always slow. Every moment of this gameplay, I am slow to zero and I can't uh, attack the beacon. I was going to uh, prevent this beacon cap, but I'm every second of the gameplay, I am slowed. Under that bridge, I was trying to go for this beacon. I was slowed, 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 slowed. The slow wears off. I'm slowed, 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 slowed. The slow wears off. Now the battleship slowed, slowed, slowed. At no given time was I actually able to simply walk and do something. Very sad. So let's trigger the stupid counter suppression thing that Newton should never have gotten in the first place. Completely god-awful experience every time you fire at these these boring things you get this counter suppression all right i can't uh, attack a beacon with this setup ladies and gentlemen is this a sniper and i have no chance of uh attacking uh, attacking him there i almost got the the newton now sniped I'm trying to go for the beacon, but the Curie just needs to turn around and kill me, right? All he has to do is just turn around and kill me instantly. But I think we might be able to get it in time. At least maybe turn it white. Can we EMP him? All right, we got it. So, Lofi hopes with a $5 super check. Why do you advertise such a game to others? What if your brother was, uh, was playing and spending in such a game what Pixonic does wrong and you know it? Uh, it is a good point, Lofi. It is a very good point. And that's why I always criticize uh, what needs to be criticizing about this game too. So that you are aware what you're getting yourself into if you play and start rack ranking up in this game. Um, I don't think you'll find any YouTuber in Warobots who's going to give you a more honest and, uh, uh, you know, um, well, <laughs> direct perspective to what the game has to offer. I'm showing the fun aspects and what makes the game great, but I will never miss out on telling you what the game does horribly wrong, uh, along with suggesting what it should change to make it better. You all, from me, you have all the information. If you still play, decide to play the game, invest into it, then it's your decision and you can do that. I will not tell you you shouldn't do it. Who am I to tell you what you should play and what you should spend your, uh, your time on, right? Um, but I will tell you that you that the game has a lot of flaws that make it really stupid in many regards and will get you frustrated, will get you angry and incredibly annoyed. And then there are those moments where you have the time of your life playing it and you're having such a blast. The game will do all of these things with you. I was trying to find uh, an Orokochi or any target that is not having uh, an Orokochi ability running, but I can't find them. Left was Orokochi, right was Orokochi, 
at no time was able to find anybody I could have attacked who is not enjoying a ridiculous amount of resistance. Look at this. Two more coming from behind. Two more. All with their ability running. I EMP'd him. Fire. And boom. Big hit on him. Very big hit. That is a hit he really feels. Uh, there was another donation coming afterwards from A332. I'll be reading it any moment now. I first EMP'd the Curie. And he can't move away. Here comes my Vortex and... Why did it... Oh my god, my Vortex launched in this weird angle and took way longer to reach him. And that's why... I didn't actually get to hit him. Uh, as he was still in his weakness mode and standing. Manny, I EMP'd a Curie with my Havoc Typhon and while I shot him, he healed the damage back. How? This is what Havoc is nothing to he heal. Uh, I don't know. Um, that was most likely uh, a, dr a passive drone heal. Uh, because the... Um, perfectly at the... Do you see this, right? Perfectly at the end of his ability... Now we got him. Boom! This time he didn't get to get his turrets out. Uh, but perfectly at the end of his first turret, he activated the... Um... Boom! Perfectly timed. Nice. But he comes back, of course, because he's angry and he has enough meta to simply destroy me. See how fast the Curie runs? There is no hope for me to even just hit this guy with the Vortex. The Vortex is such an outdated, terrible weapon, you can't even hit an enemy with it if he simply walks. A new up-to-date meta robot such as the Curie, you cannot even hit him. The only way to hit him is to have him disabled before. That shows how Pixonic forgets completely about what uh, other weapons in the game um, do. When they make robots run around with like 90 or 100 kph. Pixonic completes, completely forgets about what the game has as functions and how, how it needs to work. So, now we ran through all his abilities. He's going to get the second no skill ability at 50%. We, we all know that. Now he stops firing at me because I stalled about 15 seconds of his meta bomber ability time. Um, that's what the Ravana can do still very well. Stall time, right? All right, I dropped him to last stand and then entered into the next ability. All right, Broski instantly uh, lifts me up. I'm pretty sure he's going to do it again, but I have all my abilities ready. He can lift me up as much as he wants. I'll be safe from it. Um, maybe we can attack. Well, now I had to use one of my abilities. All right, it, it ended when homing bullets came in. That's, uh, that's just too much. I can't fight that, it's too much. When the homing bullets come in and start releasing my abilities. Instantly suppressed. Popping fresh shields onto me. Then I release his next suppression charge. And his other friend comes to help, because of course when you have a Newton in front of you, then every Titan in the game must immediately turn around to defend that Newton with, with their lives, right? Oh boy. If I have a Newton next to me, I will let this idiot, uh, this, uh, this Titan die. I don't want to call the player idiot, but I want to play call the Titan an idiot, because the Titan is so boring. If I have a Titan next to me, a Newton, I will let him die. This thing, I will protect all my teammates, but not the freaking Newtons. Forget it. They don't deserve it. They don't, they just deserve to exit the game. It's like artillery in freaking World of Tanks, man. I will not defend them. So, 
now that he's running out of his ability jumping on him and uh, doing damage that actually hurts him he's going to enter in his next ability any second now and when he does I turn around show my other shields activate shield and pop fresh shields on it he will land again he will try to get out of my weapons range but he messed it up and now we can finish him off that's what I say to Eiffel Titans. Your 300,000 HP shield. Oh, okay, with a stealth it's enough. That was too much now. I would have killed him here, but now look at this. I mean, the whole map appears out of nowhere to defend him instantly. It feels like I'm the, uh, I'm the only player left in the game now, unfortunately, but I'm not. Okay. We kill, almost killed him, and I was at the end, the, uh, the uh, last one. If you're the last player, of course, uh, everybody's going to shoot you. Um, but um, you saw this Curie. No, not Curie. This, um, uh, this player would have died there if it wasn't for, uh, for the insane amount of backup that came out of nowhere. It was so sick, dude. Literally out of nowhere, <laughs> he had two Titans and three robots on me. If you have that kind of legendary backup from your team, yes, then you can win against my Rook, yes. Other than that, your time was, had, was, was at an end, my friend. Your time was over. Let's put out my turrets. So I'm too close to him. His weapons can't actually bypass uh, a curve around the corner. That's how you can abuse these uh, weapons. Alright, we're shooting the Ohokochi there. Alright. Fix versus Manning. Um, Lofi Hopes uh, said, uh, send another donation. I would like to see you playing Fortnite and support you well in Fortnite. You don't lose your money and it's uh, well balanced. Uh, I know, Fortnite is a, is a battle royale game. Like PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Modern, uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Those are all games uh, where it's built around Battle Royale. And that means there there is no paid bonus, which I hope they will never do that in Battle Royale. You can, of course, buy skins and stuff if you want to customize yourself, uh, but you will not... Um you will not spend spend money for power in these games and that's also what i like very much so you're absolutely right there with with that i did also play um fortnite on my other smaller channel there for a while and tried a couple of things i played PUBG a lot and um various games um but it is a completely different playstyle from warobots and if i want to do something that my warobots viewers are also interested in perhaps converting to or trying then that would be a robot or um, ideally it would be a robot fighting game right but it would have to kind of be a mobile game i have tried armored core even though it's a robot fighting game it wasn't on mobile and my viewers were not really there to uh, support this endeavor uh, a lot of a few of them were there but it's the overwhelming majority of people were missing fire 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 and boom 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 nice i got him but i also lost my last stand um so I would, um, you know, what, Mech Arena, for example, is a game, or or other uh, games of this genre that you can that we can try. Oh my God, dude! I just activated my shield break to hit the Mars, and in that very moment, he activated a random stealth out of absolutely nowhere, because we all know Mars robots are stealth robots. Oh man, that sucked. Okay. I lost a weapon already. When? Uh oh. I walk away from him because I saw he has harpoon weapons. If I move away, he can't hit me. Okay, he's using his ability right now. Fire, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Good damage. We should get him here. Yep, good job. Nice team play. I locked him down and I uh, disabled him. Did some damage, but not enough to kill him. He's bringing another angler. I understand the angler is an extreme powerhouse. 
Yep, good damage. So here's the Mars again. I can shield... Never mind, I think he's all... It's not even a Mars. It isn't even a Mars. What was it? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. This guy, all right. Got him locked. And boom! One hit kill! It's a fury. And now, of course, I'm dead. Because a Newton spawned in. My rockets didn't even make it anymore. All right. Mm. The, lost the weapon just before the Mars stealth. All right. So we're spawning up here. I'm running the Curie here with a much weaker setup. With weapons that are not so powerful. They're okay, but they're not broken. These Cestus weapons. And Pixonic is nerfing them with the next update. I don't understand how. How is this possible? Why would you nerf something that is not even remotely good? Right? It's... I mean, it's an okay weapon. I'm not saying the weapon is terrible. But it's definitely not something that needs nerfing. Uh, the way of Pixonics... I, I can't... I don't understand. It seems... Sometimes it just seems like they're doing random things. They're rolling like a 20-sided die. <laughs> Okay, phase shift. Then shield. Two Newtons on me. Great. Putting up uh, the turrets in front of this guy. While I'm reloading, they're dropping him pretty well. Look at this, he's going down from my turrets. Phase shift again. It was his lift, that's why I'm landing now. Okay. Um, here comes an enemy Ohokochi. Okay, okay. I see this. We have this under control so far. Uh, so the turret is on the Ohokochi because he just lost his ability. He gets it at 50%, which is now. So he's just gonna activate it again, isn't he? Yep. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that at 50% he's gonna get the ability back, but now the turrets are gonna drop him, I think. Yep. Turrets did the job. See, these weapons, they're okay. I'm not saying they're bad at all. But they what I am saying is that they, they do not need nerfing. They definitely don't need nerfing. Ah, I just wanted to spawn the turrets on their spawn. All right, so ladies and gents, we're going to do one last round. Okay. And, uh... That was 3.3 million damage. Of course, probably most of that was the Curie. So let me know in the comments, please, ladies and gentlemen, how, so far, how was the stream? I'm trying to make it more good mood, more fun, right? Not getting hung up so much on, on the problems and constantly focusing on those. At the same time, I'm speaking about them. I'm so saying what's wrong, what needs to change, but I'm trying to mention it and get back to fun. Has this been better than last week? Because last week I feel like I went way out of uh, control there. Why is the sub doer or Curie not in the rebalance? Yep, A332 is asking a very good question here. The sub doer does exactly what Tamer and Damper do in the same exact game breaking way. But it is not included in the rebalance. Why? The answer is simple. And uh, it's. It's because the Subduo was released after Tamer and Damper, one or two months later, and that way hasn't had enough time yet to run through the sales. It's really that simple. It is a very inconvenient truth, but it is a dru truth nonetheless. Um, the weapons are newer, they didn't have the same time running through the sales, and that way they are not getting nerf the same nerf. Zero damage against him. Zero. It hurts a lot to reload for 10 seconds and then do zero damage. It really hurts a lot. Boom! That! That, however, hurts a lot too. <laughs> nice. He's retreating now. Boom! 
Good hit, but I think he had his turrets up. We will see if his health regenerates back to 100. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Almost full health now. It's because he did have his turrets up in that moment. All right, but not this time, buddy. Boom! That's how we do it in the money town, man. Yeah! So, in a way... Oh, wow, we have another... From Beheaded, another 10 memberships. Beheaded, man, thank you so much, dude. Oh, this time I was not able to uh, hit him uh, with my suppression. Somebody else locked him down, though. And boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> Woo! I still love this build, man. It's, uh, it's very unfortunate that it don't, no longer performs the way it should. Because the rope... Oh! <laughs> I say that casually as I'm one at killing enemies. But yeah, it is unfortunate that it no longer performs as well as it used to do. Because enemies are simply too fast now. When he falls off the other side, I can follow him in. When he falls. Oh, man. Really? You spend 40 power cells just to not get hit by that one shot. Come on, bro. Seriously. Instant HP fix from a drone. I hit him and pop, he got the HP immediately back. He's coming for me now. And the turrets are there already. No way for me to do something about it. He recharges his turret ability, which is way more powerful, faster than I can ever recharge my ability. But that was a perfect hit as he fell and was stationary for one second. For one second, he was 100% stationary and I instantly connected it. Boom! Oh, his turrets wasn't there. <laughs> Dude, I am doing a lot of damage against him. But I'm still not killing him. I'm just doing some good damage. Boo! That would have been a kill. That right there would have been the kill. But he spent another 40 power cells to uh, not get killed. Now he's getting lifted. And I don't need to bother with him anymore. See that? It's a Curie robot. It's impossible to kill. A Newton spawns, Curie dies instantly. Oop, dead. Okay, down to last stand. Oh no, what? But dude, I just EMP'd him! How can you get into your ability when I just EMP'd you, man? This is... It's not working. This is frustrating. There, there needs to be something done about it. There has to be more reliability. It has to run more reliably. This, uh this thing what the Newton lift disabled my damage my rockets came the Newton got lifted up past my rockets and uh, and that's why it didn't hit yo was geht money uh, hey man um, I can't read your name man but uh, alles gut soweit danke uh, thanks for asking uh, money's favorite bot is probably the Ravana actually uh, the fa um yeah my favorite robot would be the Ravana. My favorite setup, like as a whole, would be Thermite Crisis. Because this thing works well. It is works better than the Typhon because you have the shield break built into your shots. So you don't need to run a shield break. However, what you still need to do is connect the shots at the right time. Hit things that are landing and that are stationary for one second after they touch the ground. If you manage to hit exactly then, one hit kill. Unfortunately though, uh, Last Stand prevents most one hit kills now. Because Last Stand is on almost all robots. And unfortunately, on top of the other unfortunate things that these old weapons have, uh, Pixonic has never given it an effort to make Vortex uh, or Thermite or Aphid upper to data. <laughs> I'm saying it like that because I'm not asking for them to become meta weapons, but they, they they lost everything in the development of the meta that we have now. Everything. Every robot runs too fast. If they just run sideways from left to right, you physically would literally have no chance to deal any point of damage. You fire, pop, 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 hit, no hit, no hit, no hit, no hit. You, can't, you reload 10 seconds to deal zero damage. Just because the guy is literally walking. That is a defense system now, walking. Um, 
And that is not even including all the shields that are like 50% of all robots are having shields making Vortex worthless. The other is the resistance, the bonus health of Curies, making Vortex worthless. Stealth, making Vortex worthless. The targeting system, even if you fire before they enter stealth, the rockets will lose their tracking. If Pixonic would have an interest in making these, in adjusting these weapons to the changing meta of time, uh, then they would make it so that the rockets will keep tracking. You fired when the guy was uh, visible, you had him targeted, the targeting is built into the rockets, and they go for it. They will not miss because the guy activates stealth. If they had an interest in keeping these weapons up to date in any way, shape or form, they would bypass 100% of all resistance in the game because you lo reload 10 seconds for that. 10 seconds. So alas, that shouldn't stop these weapons. And so shouldn't be any resistance. This is, should be a resistance breaking weapon like Reapers, for example, right? Um, if they did work on these things, you would see the Vortex again. Tell me, when did you see somebody using this against you? In the Champions League. When it's not a YouTuber recording a fun video. Would anybody equip this setup here seriously in the Champions League to, um, to play competitive? Never. Never. The weapon sucks so much. You, you don't have the slightest chance. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I could probably kill this setup here with... Um, with a Destrier. If I run the right things on it, I could probably kill it with a Destrier. It's difficult to, uh, to do that though, because the Destrier is too slow. We need to find a different a robot. A robot that's simply fast enough. What would be fast enough, but old? A Stalker. Yeah, with a Stalker, I could probably do it. Even though this is like years ahead in development time, but the Stalker is fast enough. And so you don't hit him unless you um, EMP him. That's the only way the Stalker could get ki killed, basically, if he got EMP. Otherwise, just walking and he, the Stalker shouldn't really be taking damage. So, what did people say before? Just reading the chat from before where I asked you... Stop advertising new products from Pixonic. Um... I mean, as a YouTuber, it is my job to show what's new because you guys, everyone who plays the game wants to see what the new item looks like, how it performs, and obviously these videos run very well. And since this whole YouTube business puts the food on my table, of course, I am also kind of in this um, to, to make videos that are guaranteed to get a lot of attention from you guys. And those are the ones that you basically ask for by watching them. Um, but of course I understand what you mean and uh, I, I do that again like I said before I don't think you'll find a youtuber here in War Robots who will uh, address issues as as frequently as I do and as dras as as roughly and uh, plainly as I do um, not saying the others don't but I feel like I'm doing this the most and also from what I get in terms of feedback in the comment sections and so yeah I, I, I even banned I even ban items from the channel that break the game, such as the Orokochi or the Newton. I ban these items. I refuse to feature them going forward as long as they are not balanced. I don't know if anyone else did that, but um, yeah, I, uh, I he didn't hear any of it. So I think if you want to criticize uh, our community for perhaps not you know, uh, for, for making too much advertisement for Pixonic products, I think I'm probably the last one you should talk to in this case. Although, of course, I have, with the with a large reach, still part of a guild because I am playing the game, of course. But again, it's a great game in many aspects, so I wouldn't need to apologize for playing the game and having fun with it. But there are many problems with it, and they should be addressed. And some of them are addressed, some of them are not. And this has been going up and down all these years. And, uh, you know, I have, uh, I've heard from World of Tanks community contributors who are the same as me, like a mentor with the Pixonic, and they are community contributors with, uh, with, um, uh, with World of Tanks. And there I see the difference between Pixonic and Wargaming. I see how tanks are balanced after the feedback that the community contributors get. They get the chance to play them six months before release. 
for a few rounds. There is already a feedback session. Then there is gonna be a more accurate feedback and uh, gameplay session shortly before the release, where again, everything is taken into account. And then they are adjusting values very closely to what the community contributors in World of Tanks are suggesting. In addition to that, any premium tank you buy in World of Tanks is going to keep being your tank. And it will not be nerfed. You can rely on that, that it will not be nerfed. So Pixonic uh, uh, Wargaming must be very careful when introducing new premiums and can't break the game with it because they will refuse to touch them after they are being sold. Something that I wish Pixonic would do too. So just to draw a few comparisons, there are more, right? Um, but uh, those are a few. I think Pixonic could really look a lot at what Wargaming is doing. They're making a lot of money with skins, with 3D skins for their robots. Some of them are so unique, they have a unique number as an LED displayed in the back of the tank, where only that one player who achieved this uh, tank when it was sold uh, for in, in a first short time span has this number. It's the only I'm the only one with that number. You know how, how amazing this feels to run this premium and tank and knowing I was one of the few who got a number tank and this is my number only? It's awesome. Pixonic could really look a lot at what Wargaming is doing and implement uh, changes that will uh, help them financially and at the same time improve the game too. To me, a no-brainer, honestly, but it's, uh, yeah, I'm. it's like I'm talking to a brick wall there. And I am trying to help the game. All these years I'm playing it and all these years I'm also sometimes cra crapping on it because it sucks in many aspects. Every time I do it, I try to help the game and try to improve it. Although admittedly that last video with the D-Gems, that's one video before that I took down, I had false information there. I was not doing good research and I made a false advertise where I said it's like basically World of Tanks, Bit uh, War Robots, Bitcoins now. I took it down because it was wrong and I made an update video. So I made a mistake there too. So I'm not, imp uh, I'm not always uh, doing the right thing either, but I try to see things critical and at the same time look at the good things, but yeah, it is a, it is a uh, thin pathway. Anyways, ladies and gents, that was a bit of a talk at the end session here. I hope you had a good time. Um, beheaded, thanks for moderating the stream. Um, and I also want to thank everybody of you guys who uh, contributed, obviously, sending uh, subs for uh, members. Uh, for future members, right? That is very helpful. It helps me out and the channel out a lot, so I appreciate that a lot. And at the same time, I also want to watch every, uh, thank every single one of you who was just here watching. I appreciate having you guys here every week. So, see you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye bye, my friends.